It's much too quiet around here. No birds singing, no monkeys, nothing. Captain, they're not very far ahead of us. Just two or three minutes. Signal. If you ask me, we're being set up to walk right into a trap, Captain. The question is, do we wait for them or keep on walking? If we stop, they might think we're afraid. We'll show them just how scared we are. <laughs> That's not the sort of music I like. Why don't you see if you can put a stop to it? You managed to miss him. If I could just have seen one corner of his skull, you wouldn't hear any laughing. Now they know we're armed. They'll think twice next time. Come on. Just about enough. <gasps> now they're behind us. If the governor thinks he can scare us off with a few natives, he's mistaken. The devil himself couldn't stop us. Sir, if you'll allow me a word of advice, don't move from here. These arrows might have poison tips. I know. We can't just stay here doing nothing. Roger, the Cormorant, and I to take a little reconnaissance flight, Skipper. Ah. I won't hear of it. It's much too dangerous. That feather duster's all mouth and no guts. Captain, why don't we just blast out of here? Our guns will blaze a hole. Yes, I think you're right, Van Stiller. It's our only chance. You shoot to the right, along with Carmo. Rabal and Moko will cover the left. And I'll plow straight ahead. Let's go. And a second later, we'd all be pemmican. getting a great deal more than they're expecting. But hold your fire until I give the order. Those 
are not the notes of war, Captain. Hold your fire! What do you mean, Layla? Who do you think they are, Poco? I'd say it's the shaman of the local tribe who's come to parley, sir. This is Arawak territory. Why do you violate our forests and meadows? Oh no, we... It is not our intention to violate your territory. We only wish to cross it in pursuit of a group of men who are heading to the bay south of Maracaibo. We are friends of the mighty Arawak nation and wish none of you harm. Your words are false, as are those of all your race. Turn around immediately and go back the way you came. Or your evil souls will be sacrificed to our gods and your bodies eaten! Imagine ending up on a spit, Van Stiller. Are you the leader? Yes, I am. And why are you following this other group of men? To kill them. They are my enemies. Did they pass through here? Yes, but they will not go far. I ask you to deliver them to me. And I ask all of you to go kill each other, but on the coast, not in Arawak territory. We are not your enemies. Do you understand? But nonetheless, we will cross your lands, whether you give us leave or not. Your blood and bones and nerves and muscle will go to nourish us. And it is war that the Arawaks desire. If you do not retrace your steps at once, you will die. Brothers of the coast, let's show this shaman that we're afraid of nothing and nobody. There we are! That dagger is more powerful than you think, Carmo. <laughs> we'll rest here for a while. You need to eat too, Layla. Thank you. Carmo, Stiller, you two will take the first watch. I aye, aye, sir.
It's me! Don't shoot! I haven't seen anything, but I have the feeling someone's drawing near. <laughs> I never thought I'd be glad to accept your advice. <laughs> Shh. How far are they, Moko? They're in the gully behind those bushes, but if they keep moving, in a minute they'll be right on us. Hey, Van Stiller, give me your hat and your vest. A sacred sea cow to Swansea. That's clever. I gotta hand it to ya. The bloom, you'd better shut your beak. If they hear that croaking voice of yours, they'll know we've tricked them. <laughs> Somewhere over there. <laughs> it's the natives and the governor's escort. I don't want them to kill him. Yes, if we find him dead, there'll be no vendetta, Captain. I must go see whether my enemy is alive or dead. Can you guide me? We have to light torches. The night's as black as ink. You mustn't. We'd be making perfect targets of ourselves, that's all. We simply have to trust the instincts and experience of our guide and slip through the forest in the dark. Too dangerous, Captain. I know what we need and where to find it. Don't keep us in suspense. Where? In the swampland. If you give me your hat, Captain, and Moko, you come along with me and bring another hat as well. Coming back, make sure there's nobody following them. Mm. Look, Captain, fireflies. We'll tie them to our legs. That's how the jungle people do it. They'll light our path for us. 
Now, does anybody have any thread? No self-respecting sailor is ever without thread. Here. <laughs> I'll tie the things on. around the ankles, Van Stiller. <laughs> New day. The day of my revenge. Good job, little firefly. Hey. <laughs> and you're dead. When you're dead already, senor, why don't you go ahead and put us out of our misery? <laughs> Pedro! Diego! It's me! Hold on. The governor. He escaped. He has a native guide and two officers with him. How far ahead of us is he, soldier? Not far, senor. The attack only happened a few minutes ago. They're making for the bay. The guide has a boat there. We'll have to make haste, or Van Gulden will escape us again. Captain, you are within reach of your objective. You no longer need my services, but my brothers in arms do. There's nothing you can do for them now, my friend. I must do whatever I possibly can for them. Of course. <gasps> Layla, Moko. <gasps> You're the only ones who might be able to help these two unfortunate men. Carmo and Van Stiller, come with me. We'll all meet at Gibraltar. Ah, it never ceases to amaze me. <laughs> so long. Goodbye, Carmo. Uh. I'm a sailor! Then hurry. Let's go. Governor Van Gulden, your doom is nigh. Mm. 